Walking in honor. Honor is the willingness to give value to what is valuable. Honor is the currency of the spirit. And with that currency, sir, you can exchange honor for greatness. When you are given to honor, you can escape greatness. What money is in the physical, that is what honor is in the spirit. It's a currency of transaction that buys for you greatness, that buys for you uniqueness. Honor is the principle you must possess for you to assess dimensions of greatness. There are greatness you will never assess until you are given to honor. Honor simply means respect. Honor simply means regard. If you are not given to honor, you will never have access in life. If you are disrespectful, if you are dishonorable, you can't escape losses, you can't escape failure in life. The foundation of all failure is dishonor. The foundation of all losses is disrespect. Any man that exists in dishonor has shut down his life from the inside. Honor opens doors. Dishonor closes doors. It is said in our society in African proverb that when a child washes his hand, he will eat with great people. Am I right? Sir, honor is what we use to wash our hand. To dine with superior men in our society. Hear this, sir. Any child that carries honor, that regards honor, that displays honor, that child will dine with great men. Sir, honor is like a hand wash. It's a spiritual hand wash that makes your hand clean so that you can assess the table where great people eat. Anytime you see losses, it is traced to dishonor. When a person loses his marriage, check it, it's dishonor. When you see somebody loses a relationship, check it, it came through the gate of dishonor. Where dishonor are bound, losses cannot be avoided. Here they are. Every failure in life, every struggle in life is a reflection of dishonor. Dishonor of God or dishonor of man all this regard for principles. Hear me, sir. Honor is a door opener. The destiny of Reuben was closed because of this honor. He dishonored his father's bed. Immorality sat on his waist. He tempered with what he should honor. And his destiny was closed and given to his younger ones. The destiny of Esau was balkanized because of his dishonor for principles. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Yes, sir. A check at the root of every major failure in life. The destiny of Judas Iscariot was summarized because of dishonor for his master and dishonor for his man of God. Malachi chapter 1 verse 6 said, a son honored his father, a servant honored his master. And if I be a father, where is my honor? Is somebody hearing what I'm saying here? There are laws that governs life and destiny. As a believer, there are five most important laws. The first is the law of encounter. Where you will meet God for yourself and know him for yourself. Otherwise, you have nothing in this kingdom to receive without encounter. Number two, the law of honor. Where honor is lacking, sir. You'll be miserable. You can't escape catastrophe and cataclysms of life. Because where dishonor abounds, shame and reproach is in abundance. Anywhere you see resistance, it means that dishonor has been activated. Anywhere you see opposition, it is because dishonor has been activated. I pray for somebody here. May you be given to honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Honor God. Honor your man of God. Honor your parents. Honor your elders. Honor your boss. Honor people that are better than you. Honor gifted people. Don't jealous them. Yes, sir. Because what you attack, you will never attract. What you honor, you will attract. I don't
don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Yes, life does not give you what you deserve. Life gives you what you attract. Can I talk to you, sir? Yes, sir. Honor is a divine attractability. Yet it pulls things to your direction. If you honor people with good things, good things will come to your life. Yes, if you despise rich men, you will be broke till you die. You disrespect an elderly man, you will never reach that age. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody yes, here. Sir. Anything you run down, you will never rise in it. Yes, 